Hello everyone, I'm Asa Waldstein and I recently reviewed a really interesting warning letter that I wanted to tell you about. So this warning letter included claims made on YouTube. Now I know what you're saying, claims made on YouTube, that's nothing new. We've been seeing that since 2019 or something like that, right? But what was really fascinating about this warning letter is it included claims made on the text on a YouTube video. Usually with YouTube related warning letters, it mentions audio, someone talking, the algorithm might pick this up, and this is what's called out in the warning letter. But this is the first time that I've actually seen text overlay called out in a warning letter. So that's really fascinating. So there have been seven YouTube related warning letters this year, and I expect this enforcement trend to continue. Now, fun fact here, out of all the warning letters that I found that mentioned videos, only one warning letter mentioned claims made on Vimeo, right, ever. So. Lots of YouTube related warning, it, warning letters, only one claim mentioned uh, claims made on Vimeo, so take from that what you will. Now I'm sometimes asked if education only YouTube video channels are allowed. Well the answer is kinda not really. <laughs> the FDA really goes out of their way to provide examples of a commercial bridge or a link to a commercial website where customers can take order, orders for products when they cite claims made on video. So if there was a purely educational, educational video channel and it included no links to where a co consumer could purchase a product, let's say a link in comments, a link in the About Us section, then the FDA and FTC are likely going to be hands off as long as you're being truthful and not misleading. I'm Asa Waldstein. I've really enjoyed talking to you about warning letters, and I look forward to staying in contact. Have a great day.